Hey guys, um, I guess only a shitty uh, magician reveals the secrets, right? Well, I thought I'd change things up, and since I'm always uh, fixing laptops, I thought I'd start doing a little reviews of what I'm doing on the laptops, and, uh, you know, just something to make some videos. Maybe some kind of, you know, retro laptop channel. Anyways, this thing is an uh, Acer Aspire uh, 3500, and this thing is packing a whopping 1.4 gigahertz on a Silicon M processor, running Windows XP. The problem with the thing is it's um, basically overheating and shutting down and sometimes it won't even boot up. So my first guess is probably just clogged up like any other computer, you know. It might have a problem with uh, the CPU fan or the video card or, you know, even if this thing does have a video card. This is a bit of an older model. I think it's about 2006 it was made. And uh, yeah, so what I'm basically going to do is rip this thing apart. Alright, so this is where it comes into play where, uh, yeah, I start taking stuff apart. On most laptops, you're just going to have maybe like four or five screws on each of these plastic panels. And this is just to get to the basic stuff, like the hard drive, the memory, um, whatever. But uh, first things first, you unplug the thing from the wall and you take out the battery because you don't want to start frying stuff, okay? So I'm going to do that now and uh, start taking some screws out and see what's going on inside. Okay, and I have it uh, pretty much all apart here. I didn't bother taking off the cover for the hard drive because I don't think it's a hard drive problem. Uh, sometimes some of these panels you do kind of have to get behind with a knife or something. Uh, like a Swiss Army knife is good. They're very helpful. That's pretty much the only tools I use is a Swiss Army knife for this. Uh, any laptop job and just a small screwdriver. And uh, for the most part, these back panels just come right off. They might have like a hidden clip or something, but otherwise they just come right off. Uh, so yeah, I did get this off, and you know, as I suspected, look at this. That is one nasty-ass CPU fan. I knew it had to be this. So this is an old laptop, but usually i pulled apart probably 20, 30 laptops in the past year. And this is the worst fan I've seen yet, so I'm going to spray the hell out of this with some uh, air duster. Okay, I recommend doing this outdoors, where you don't get much uh, dust that you'll have to breathe in. You don't really want to breathe that crap in. And just hose the hell out of it with the air duster. Okay, I'm, I need both hands, but usually I would be holding this still with one finger and then spraying with the other one so it doesn't spin. Um, also, you want to get around here, and uh, if it gets really bad, you want to probably take apart the whole laptop and get underneath. Um, make sure you're going the way of the air, so this way I'll be spraying towards there to the air exit. Alrighty, so I've got it all back together. It was just a few screws on the back, of course. Same way as bringing them out, so maybe like four, six, I don't know, eight screws on the back total. And then uh, they just pop right off. Um, so before this was not even booting whatsoever, I have not made any changes to it. Let's see if we get a boot screen this time. It is a pretty slow computer. It's only 1.4 gigahertz and half a gig of RAM. And no boot, no boot screen? Okay, it was having problems before, so let me check here. Okay, so sadly the problem is a little bit more uh, extensive than I thought. It's uh, not booting up even though I did uh, hook it up to an external monitor. And the monitor is not popping on, so I'm going to look around here and see if I don't have a spare uh, video card or maybe some RAM I can swap around, because usually those are the... Uh, the bad guys uh, when stuff like this happens like it's you can see it's working normally but uh, the screen's just not coming on I'm gonna gateway compact what is that Toshiba come on we need an Acer that's a Toshiba 2 that's uh, Toshiba wow a lot of broken Toshibas it's an HP that's an Acer getting closer and that's an Acer too and this thing looks like about Almost this. Oh my god, it's the exact same computer. Now that is pretty damn helpful. If this is the same model, oh damn, this is a Travel Mate 2350. So this is actually a little bit smaller. Looks like it's a little bit faster too. It's one point, well, same, same CPU. Uh, looks like it's a little bit newer. Let's take this thing apart and see uh, if it has any parts we can we can use. Okay, so unfortunately this one does not have an easy to access video card. I probably have to, I would take the whole thing apart, like the actual physical case. But one good thing I did find is someone upgraded this to uh, one gig of RAM. So I got a 
well, one gig plus the old 256. So uh, I got a free stick of one gig of RAM. I could put that in there and speed it the hell up if uh, it starts working. So score there. Yeah, free parts. I like free parts. Now to get the RAM out, basically you just pull these pins from each side to separate these white pins here, and then what will happen is this RAM will flip up. Don't try and slide it out when it's not when it's not uh, up like this. Wait till it's up, and then just easily pulled out. So I swapped the RAM and uh, yeah, nothing still. So I think what I might do here is yank the hard drive out of this and put it into the one that I found because all this needs is a hard drive and it works. So I'm going to talk to the client and see if maybe she wouldn't mind that instead of repairing this because I think this thing has motherboard problems or something goofed with it. It's just old. So uh, there you go. There's a few tips and tricks. Um, sadly, today's did not work out. This, uh, I did manage to get this thing booting yesterday and I got all the files backed up off of it. So I'm gonna, just going to yank the hard drive and uh, put it in another one and see if it works. And that would be cool if it did. Alright, so that's it for today's Laptop Mania. And I'll keep it posted if I get uh, this computer running or that one or even the two of them. You never know. That's it for now. Bye-bye.